Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my brand new series, Five for Five, where I break down five of what I believe to be the most effective exercises in five minutes for each muscle group. Today's focus is all about the biceps, and as always, check the description below. You'll find more links to my Instagram reels and shorts with additional exercises and variations for these exercises. With that being said, let's dive into the first of our five bicep focused exercises. Seated dumbbell curls. Now, I know there's a ton of different variations based on how you rotate your hands, or where you position the arms, or the bench is inclined, but this series is all about the most effective. So what I find the most effective to be for the biceps is keeping the palms locked forwards. And the reason for that is it keeps the most amount of stress across the full width of the bicep. Another point with this, elbow position. You don't want to sit back, have the elbows back, and bring some of the shoulder into play to help curl that bicep up. You can see that my elbows are already slightly forwards, therefore I've got tension on the bicep throughout the full range of motion. And I'm not completely opening my arm out, reducing that tension on the bicep. Even at the bottom of the rep, there's still a slight bend in the elbow, which means tension or work is still being done by the bicep. As I curl up, I'm bringing the dumbbell as high as I can, shortening that bicep once again without pulling the elbow forwards. Next up, easy bars. One of the things that I love about working with an easy bar is how it positions your wrists. What I'm talking about here is an easy bar shifts the wrist position. It alleviates some of the stress placed on the wrist. It also works a slightly different angle of the bicep, which nuances like this allow us to work a full width of that bicep as opposed to always sticking within one or two exercises. We're working the biceps with the arm position at the side of the body which really means we're working the long head. Now the long head originates from the top of the shoulder and comes down like this. All you need to know for this one is it's important to keep the shoulders back, keep the arms pinned at the side of the body, not flared out, and as we curl up, I'm consciously aware that my elbows are positioned slightly forwards. Again, lifting like this rather than lifting like this. Preacher curl, or more specifically, a single arm dumbbell preacher curl. The preacher curl is less about how much weight you can lift, so therefore how much muscle you might be able to grow from this exercise, and more about isolation. We've now got it in front of our body, bringing the arm in front of our chest, which as I mentioned, focuses more on the short head. So adding the preacher curl with a barbell or a dumbbell exercise already means that you're hitting both heads of the bicep. For the first two or three working sets, my goal is to lift as much weight as I can within that 10 to 12 rep range. However, on the final working set, I'll usually drop that weight down and really focus on getting that external rotation at the wrist in just to peak that bicep a little bit more. If you're using too heavy a weight that you need to really throw that weight up, think about how effective it is on the bicep. So start light, gradually build up, and really make sure that you're getting that peak contraction in the bicep at the top of each rep. Now normally you might do this one at a time or even both together, but I found that by first rotating the arm in front of the body, you see the shoulder here? I bring the whole arm in front of my body. I'm not simply just bringing the arm here, the whole shoulder comes forward. And in doing so, it allows me to work the bicep in a slightly different angle than if my arm were at the side. Alternate each side, one at a time, keep it slow, keep it smooth and consistent, and I keep going back to this focus of peaking the bicep. What I'm referring to here is as we get the dumbbell to the top, don't just get to the top of the rep and then start to go back down. Think about squeezing and engaging the bicep as hard as you can. Now, if you look at the bicep, we've kind of got the long head here and the short head. You can almost see a split right there between the tricep and some of that long head of the bicep. And this is what I'm referring to when I'm talking about shifting the arm position, which can be done with dumbbells, a hammer curl, even on the preacher bench. So give it a try. Single arm, high cable curl. Now this is one of my favorite go-to exercises, especially when I was getting ready for a competition, simply because I found it really helped bring out that detail and that graininess in the muscle when you're at a certain body fat percentage. Now for this, you ideally want that pulley to be in line with the hand when your arm's at a 90 degree angle. Therefore, as you shorten that bicep and contract, you're working the bicep in this 
arm position, the cable is being pulled from where you're holding. So make sure that the cable is basically about head height to where you're standing. Another key factor about performing this exercise correctly is to make sure that the elbow is positioned in such a way where it's pointing down. Therefore, when we curl, we're getting maximum involvement of the bicep. If the elbow is slightly rotated out, which tends to be the natural positioning of the arm if we hold our arms out, you see that as you curl up, we're missing out on about that much angle and we're less involved in the main width of the bicep, bringing some of the shoulder into play to keep our elbow position back. All right guys, there we go. That wraps up today's five for five video with our focus on biceps. As I mentioned, check the description of this video where you'll find new links to Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts with additional bicep focused exercises where I'll show more variations, modifications, and additional exercises. Anyway, I hope that you found some useful information within today's video. Go put it to work, let me know how it turns out, and I'll catch you here on the next one. Keep training hard, train smart. See you back here soon.